I am building the first full-size Rust auto turret that's in the entire world. And I'm going to bring you along on the ride. I'm going to go over all the details about it, how I started it, um, some of the problems that I have, some of the crazy things that I've come across. But yeah, for those of you new to the channel, I'm building my office into a real Rust 2x2. Two two. Um, but yeah, to get started on the auto turret, I really liked those little desktop ones that people sell on Etsy and stuff. And I was like, well... I'm, I'm building everything basically full size anyway, so I wanted to do a full size auto turret. The problem that I had is I had zero experience with robotics, so this is actually the first experience that I have with like an Arduino and servos and gears and and all of that. Um, so it's been a it's been a project. A little bit about the turret: it weighs probably 35 pounds in total. It's not super heavy. Um, which is good because it's, you know, supported by 3D printed legs, which actually did break initially. It's kind of hard to tell, but I added some support down here at the bottom um, just to reinforce the legs a little bit. But the turret does have three modes currently. It has an off state, which just tilts up, which, by the way, I can't go all the way up because the game actually uses like some made up physics because the gun would actually go inside of the shaft. So that's as steep as I can make it go, um, but it has an off mode. It has a idle mode, which is just like, you know, panning left and right. And then it has a tracking mode. The tracking mode is not perfect, um, but it's, it uses a AI model to actually like track a person and stay on them pretty well. The only problem I'm having is it's not using the tilt at all with tracking. It's only tracking via pan. So I'll figure that out. And then also have a laser. So it does actually have a laser. I made that its own individual button because I don't always want to keep that on for obvious reasons. But yeah, to look up a little bit closer, let me go ahead and turn it off so you can see a little bit more of the uh, engineering of this. So this little setup here, I bought, it's a panning and tilting um, servo kit on Amazon. It ended up not really working out and I could have avoided even buying this because uh, I had to re-engineer this part of it anyway which you can tell here is uh, using timing belts. I didn't even know what a timing belt was until this project, honestly. So I, I'm using timing belts for the, uh, the tilting because that makes it to where there's like more torque than what the servo can actually handle. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's that. I did have to uh, take off the handle of the AK. I mentioned earlier the physics of the gun tilting back. Um, the, the handle would actually make contact with the servo area. So when the gun is in the turret, there's no handle on it. Um, eventually I do plan to clean up all the wires as well and paint it, make it look nice, uh, fill in all these cracks and sand it and, and all the, all the things. But for now it's very, uh, primitive at the moment. Um, I do plan to house everything underneath the auto turret. I'll, uh, let me try to show you right quick what it looks like underneath it. So there's a lot of room, as you can tell. It's, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like underneath. So it's not a solid barrel or anything. It's just mostly hollow on the, on the bottom half. The top does actually have a real webcam. So it is a real webcam. It does track. Um, let me, uh, let me start that for you right quick. All right. I got it started. So the turret just kind of like rebooted up now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the tracking mode. And then whenever I walk into camera, whoops. I still have a problem with the gun stock going a little bit too far back and then getting the gun off centered. I need something to better hold the gun centered of this thing. I, I printed these little things to kind of hold it, but it's not, it doesn't do the best of job. But yeah, I have it uh, on the AI mode at the moment. So it does track. I had to abs add some delays to it so that way it doesn't constantly like overcorrect, but it does a decent job at staying on, uh, on target. I will say this whole project, uh, cost-wise, has been extremely pricey, and it would be exponentially more expensive if I had to pay for the plastic to 3D print this. So I want to give a huge shout out to Polymaker. Polymaker is the only reason this turret is actually here. Um, if you're into 3D printing, I highly recommend using Polymaker. They make the best plastic out there. So huge shout out to them. Also huge shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. I'll drop a little excerpt on the screen here featuring them. Yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing the full process um, and the finished version, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll post a video in the coming weeks, more than likely, once everything is done. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like and comment. If you guys have any suggestions or improvements you think I should do on the auto turret, please let me know. I am 
I am very open to any feedback you have. This is a, a learning experience in so many different niches for me. So I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much.